Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be doing a video showing you how I make this uh, very beautiful onboarding process for uh, my users on my bookquest. How I did it, how I made sure that uh, the onboarding process doesn't show up again when uh, the user has already seen it, which package I'm using and uh, what things you can do with this specific package. So let's jump right in. So like, like you can see right now, the process is basically simple. We're seeing welcome to my book quest. We can add a specific icon we can choose. We can choose the different um, content we want to use. Uh, and you basically have the two buttons uh, to go to the previous um, boarding step and then to the next onboarding step. So how do you navigate through that and what could be the things you could do? So let's click on next. As you can see, we're getting this beautiful animation that is entirely customizable using Framer Motion. Uh, and basically, uh, you can do some tool tips for every section, uh, basically every div that is stacked with is a specific ID. Uh, so then after that, if we click Next, we can see that we're getting um, another section highlighted. Uh, and then to finish, we're getting this uh, other section highlighted. And when we click Finish, you can start uh, using the app uh, like nothing has happened uh, and then you can uh, just continue with the app. Uh, so how did I do that? So first things, uh, I just want to give a, a big shout out to uh, the folks um, uh, that made Next Step. So the package I'm using is Next Step, Next, uh, Step JS. Uh, and initially um, I seen their uh, package uh, on a reddit post that they made in uh, r slash sas um, but basically uh, I entirely uh, like suggest you guys to go see them uh, their website uh, nextstepjs.com they have a buy me a coffee and stuff um, and yeah so it's a really neat package uh, as you can see the initial little demo you can skip uh, so yeah really go check that out um, but let's get uh, continued with the uh, presentation so a lot of stuff uh, is available to you. So you can use it with the app router and the pages router. Uh, and you can also customize a whole bunch of things. So let me show you guys how I actually implemented it and how you can do it too. So let's go into the code. And first things first, um, I just want to lay out that um, you will need to use uh, the layout.tsx file. So uh, what I suggest doing is basically you go to the highest uh, root layout the tsx file that you can find um, which you're going to display onboardings under so let's say in this case i have the layout the tsx that is on the uh, basically in the dashboard route this is my protected route where user absolutely needs to be logged in um, <clears throat> and basically what i want to do is show a specific onboarding for each subsection of my dashboard but also to my dashboard so as you can see right now, uh, it's it really starts with the creation of the steps array. So the steps array is basically um, an array of objects that basically defines what are going to be the different onboarding tours and what are their specific steps. Um, <clears throat> so let's get started with the dashboard tour. So as you could see, when we logged in, we would get welcome to my bequest. Uh, and this is how it works. So basically you have your title here. You can choose your specific icon uh, and then after that you can uh, decide to show controls which um, controls are uh, previous or next and then you can <clears throat> basically specify your uh, html gsx um, element uh, and this will allow you to basically customize it to your needs so you could put a button there or something else uh, and whatever so and then after that, you just put your steps uh, one by one following each other. And when you click next, it's just going to go to the next one. Uh, the neat thing that I was showing you guys where it was just um, basically focusing on a specific section uh, is basically the part where we add the selector and side combination. So the side is basically the parameter that's going to tell where does the tooltip uh, appears. So let's say you have a box here, it will appear under here if you put bottom. Um, and basically I could uh, show it to you again, but uh, the thing you want to know is that to get the selector working where it just highlights a specific section. So in my case, I did dashboard stats, which is my people come into the onboarding and get their first highlighted section. 
So what I would do is basically go to my dashboard page and then search for the ID I've put in. Um, and basically this is my reading stats section. Uh, and basically you can see I added the dashboard stats ID and how do you do that? So uh, one thing you could do is click inspect um, and then just select the specific uh, card you want to put it at. And for myself, like you see, I've added the dashboard stats uh, div right there. Uh, and basically this will focus when I want to uh, basically focus on it to present it to users. So, and then it's pretty much rinse and repeat. So you make the same process where basically you'll add an ID tag to every section you want to focus on. Uh, so in my, the second thing was uh, dashboard underscore book I wanted to highlight. And then after that, you just rinse and repeat and change the side, uh, basically depending on what your use case is. And this is really uh, well outlined um, in their uh, documentation. <clears throat> and basically they show like uh, what the icon is, uh, the title, content, sides. Uh, there's also other features like you cannot show skip. Uh, the different pointer you can make, next route, previous route, uh, viewport ID. So there's a lot of stuff you can do. I highly suggest you going and taking a look at their documentation. Um, but yeah, so then the thing that we might want to do is have multiple onboarding process. So the thing is, uh, right now we were using the dashboard tour, but uh, then if we go to um, the second tour, so I called it the booknook tour. So this is on a whole nother route. So in this route, we're going to have the booknook tour. And then here, we're going to have the dashboard uh, tour. Uh, and then you can see the steps are pretty, uh, just pretty much the same thing, but just with different content. Introducing the booknook, choose your book, whatever. So then um, if I go to the booknook, uh, I'm being shown basically the onboarding um, and basically I can just start clicking next and the same thing happens for uh, basically the onboarding process. I'm just getting it in a different content. Um, so this will allow you to basically have different tours and how do you do that? Uh, well, it needs a bit of adjustment and this is really where the tricky part happened for me. Um, where I just validate like uh, am I uh, logged in as a user uh, in my layout because this is using um, the server component it's a use server not a use client so this is a bit different um, and then after that I have my next step wrapper which basically takes into parameter the user ID and the steps um, on my specified uh, basically my specified tours um, and then this um, wrapper will then take it and put it into the next step provider which you absolutely need to put it between those uh, tags because otherwise uh, you don't have the content it's like a suspense like uh, super base also the odd providers and stuff like that uh, so you really need to put that in um, and then after that uh, you're going to be able to set up your uh, next step Next step is uh, basically the main component that tells like uh, it has ev even callbacks. Uh, you can set like the steps you want to put in. So in this case, we've passed as parameter the steps. We put it into the next step dot steps. Uh, we have the shadow. So all you want the shadow around the box to appear. You can all customize that, uh, change the transition. So when I was talking about the animation, this is where you can change it to your needs. Um, and another thing I also found useful is they allow you to uh, create like a custom uh, card. So basically you can go on their uh, NPM page. They have an example, but you can choose to basically add um, a custom card to your needs. So in my case, I wanted to add uh, the BG primary variable for my Daisy UI team. Um, so I needed to create a custom card to add that to there, but you could add other things to your needs. Um, so then after that, what you will do is uh, basically uh, pass the children inside that. And right now you might be seeing like show tour, which you might not know what it is. But basically show tour is um, the way I'm looking in my database to see as the user already checked the onboarding. If he didn't check it, well display it to him. And when he click finish, it's then going to send uh, a call back to the database and tell 
an update a row where it says true or false for if the user was onboarded. Uh, so then you can see we set the uh, basically the react uh, use state variables, um, uh, the states basically to the component. Uh, and we update it into the table where the user ID is equal to the user ID and uh, the tour name. So the specific tour name is. Um, and then basically after that, it's going to show and unshow if needed, as you can see here. So if the show tour is uh, through, we're going to show the onboarding. Uh, and if not, we're not going to show it. We're just going to display the children uh, basically of the layout. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, and then after that, uh, you really like everything is handled. You don't even need to um, like do any other specific stuff uh, as as long as you have ways to validate if we should show the onboarding or not. Um, that's really the key. Uh, one thing to note also is that if you want to check which tour you're using, which is really important because each time you change pages, you're actually going to select um, <clears throat> which store you are at so uh, basically as you can see here when i uh, initialize my component i want to check so what's the current tour and i want to start the next step so when i start the next step i need to specify between parentheses what's the tour i want to start uh, and it's basically going to go to the first step into that specific tour so the reason we're looking for that uh, current tour value here uh, and why we're doing wrappers and stuff like that is that we need to basically uh, use the next step uh, function to uh, check if the current tour is using the dashboard tour or is it using the book note tour because th those are two different separate tours which we need to validate in case uh, maybe the user has made the dashboard tour but didn't make the book note tour so we should still show the book note tour even though the dashboard tour is made. Uh, so this is why we're uh, validating it uh, right here and making sure that we validate that only this uh, current tour uh, is either valid, uh, done or not, basically. Because uh, as you can see, if we go to uh, the other place, when we go to the BookNote component, we see that we start the next step for the BookNote tour. So it's a whole nother tour, which that's why we need to basically um, make sure um, we're referencing uh, in the database um, and I can show you guys uh, the basically what the, the table looks like uh, but basically um, we have right here the uh, schema so it's pretty simple we have uh, basically um, an ID so the primary key then we have the tour name so the tour name will be like dashboard tour or book tour um, and then after that, we have the onboarded at uh, with a timestamp. Uh, that's really not uh, that optional. Then we have the onboarded uh, Boolean, which is really important. It sets like, uh, did the user get onboarded yet or not? It's, def it's uh, default to true because like initially the user has never done the onboarding, which is normal. Uh, and then we have uh, basically a constraint that um, makes sure that the user is basically present because we don't want to attribute that onboarding to anyone else. Uh, and we basically put a constraint around the user ID and the tour name because there could be multiple, um, basically multiple occurrences of the user ID, but we need to make sure that it cannot have multiple occurrences of the pair of the user ID and the tour name. Because uh, this is really where it could get uh, into conflicts, like not knowing is it true or false. You can literally make this uh, this onboarding for your website in like a few hours uh, or in a day. Uh, as you can see, it started ramping up a lot uh, in downloads because the, the product is so good. Uh, so I strongly invite you guys to go see this package and I'll see you guys uh, in the next video.